So I was talking to my wife the other day about the supernatural ability of discerning. See, prophetic Christians have the ability to supernaturally discern. This isn't mere judgment of someone, but the ability to know the source of someone's intentions, whether it be human will, God's will, or the demonic. I was trying to strike up a conversation with my wife about the difference between discerning of spirits and discernment. See, discernment is this wisdom that's learned over time from studying the Bible, being around other Christians and other environments. It's almost like growing in wisdom that fixes our perception of good and evil. But discerning of spirits requires no time at all. A baby Christian could operate in discerning of spirits. It's the Holy Spirit giving you a vision, a dream, an impression, or a feeling about a person, place, or thing and the sources of its intentions. I say all this to say that I'm noticing that a lot of believers have the gift of discerning of spirits. They can quickly pick up on the spiritual motives of other people around them supernaturally, especially in relationships. I notice that people have the ability to see who others are in the spirit realm, yet they'll still question God if this is the person for me or if this is the spouse for me or the friend for me or should I be here. See, it's one thing to not know what your dreams mean or what God's trying to tell you in the spirit, but it's another thing for you to know exactly what the Holy Spirit's saying to you in a dream or vision. You have the interpretation but then just completely ignore it and ignore your conscience. See, I believe that Balaam knew the spirit behind Balak, yet he continued to converse with him. While on the other hand, even in the book of Acts, the apostles discerned to know the spirit behind the new convert that thought that he could pay for the Holy Ghost. They rebuked him right on the spot. I personally believe this happens because we have no discernment. We have the discerning of spirits, but we have no discernment. See, I've watched people put up with spiritual abuse and literally challenge nothing. They'll talk to you like they're this big bad Christian, but they'll go to some church or go into some type of relationship and completely open the door to abuse and demonic activity. See, they'll have dreams of these relationships or these people and see that they come from a demonic source or the enemy sending them into their lives, yet they'll just completely ignore it. See, here's some advice to stop going in these circles with these relationships and with these people in your life or these places or things in your life. Read the Bible more. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. 